time now for our series America remembers and hard to believe this Saturday will mark 20 years since the day that forever changed our nation, forever changed the world in myriad ways, the September 11th attacks. When the first plane hit the North Tower of the World Trade Center, FDNY Chief Joseph Pfeiffer's company was just blocks away. He quickly led his firefighters to the scene, becoming the first FDNY chief to respond. Well, we are so happy to have Chief Pfeiffer join us exclusively today to talk about his new book, Ordinary Heroes, a memoir of 9-11. Chief, good morning, and, and thanks so much. It's an honor Thank to have you, you here. What, it's 20 years, which is hard to believe that it's, it's been 20 years. But when you look back on that day, and I know there's got to be myriad memories that, that flood back, what's the one that stands out most to you? There's a lot of memories that come to my mind thinking back to that day. But the one thing that stands out for me is that every firefighter, every first responder saw the burning towers and they made a personal decision to go in mm -hmm. because they knew they were going to the most dangerous fire of their lives. Mm -hmm. Chief, uh, yeah, two things. First of all, the, the title of the book, uh, Ordinary Heroes is Striking, because you could contend that most of the heroes are ordinary people called upon to do extraordinary things. What's the story behind the title? And, and why now, after 20 years, why, why decide to write the book in this particular moment? Mm -hmm. Originally, I wanted to write a book on, on crisis leadership. And, and Penguin Random House said, no, you got to write a personal story. <laughs> um, and I wanted to tell the personal story of that day and, and my firefighters. And what we saw that day, when I ordered the firefighters to go up, people were coming down. And they were telling people coming down, don't stop. You can make it out of here. Mm. And we know those simple words was the difference between surviving and not. So that's where the title came from. My ordinary heroes that, that, that went up there to rescue thousands of people who were in their greatest moment of need. Mm -hmm. Many first responders lost, lost their lives that day and, and days after. Uh, one of those was your brother, Kevin. You tell his story mm -hmm. and, and just tell me, do you picture his face all the time when, when you think back to that day? I picture him walking into the lobby and coming up to me without saying a word. And we looked at each other out of concern um, whether we were going to be okay. And then I ordered him as I ordered other firefighters to go up. And he turned around quietly, took engine 33, and that was the last time I saw my brother Kevin and engine 33. I know you've also talked about this, and that is the power of unity. You know, a lot has been said about the days after 9-11 and how this country came together um, in a way like we haven't seen in a while. Fast forward to even what we're dealing with today, we can have a very visceral environment, right? We talk about masks or in the midst of the pandemic. There's so many sides. What's your take on unity and trying to get that spirit back and for it to last longer than just three or four days or even a week after a tragedy? I, I think this 20th anniversary, there's such interest because we want to get back to that sense of unity. Mm. On the days and the weeks and even the months after, we felt this global to togetherness. Mm -hmm. And now we're so fragmented for, for many reasons, from pandemic and, 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 and uh, other terrorist events and climate change. I think we want to grab that feeling that we had 20 years ago, that we're in this together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we look back at 9-11 at and you talk about leadership and crisis management and making decisions in, in, in moments like that. When you look through that lens of 9-11, of, of how does that inform what you, what you think of when it comes to making decisions in a crisis? That you have to order people to do things that, you know, that, that may haunt you later. I, I can remember seeing the first plane slam into the North Tower. And I, I made quick decisions to, to order firefighters to the scene. But then I took about 60 seconds. And I remember telling myself to slow down and deliberately think, what do I have to do next? Mm -hmm. And then I got on the radio and said that the plane was aiming for the building. And now... Um, I transmitted a third alarm asking for more than 150 firefighters. So it's this combination of, of quick thinking and very deliberate thinking. Right. Chief, it's, it's a remarkable story. Thank you.
Chief Pfeiffer, and, and we really appreciate it. Ordinary Heroes, a memoir of 9-11 is out right now, and you can read an excerpt on today.com. And don't forget to tune into America Remembers 20 years later tonight on NBC Nightly News for Lester's sit down with Chief Pfeiffer. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.